Hi everyone, this is Suzanne Wagner. Thank you for joining me. We are doing the numerology and the astrology for August 25th, 2020. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 19. And if you add the one and the nine together, you get the number 10. The number 10 asks you if you are aligned with your power or if you are collapsing the number 10 into a number one and becoming a victim of your circumstances. If you feel a victim of your circumstances, you need to get mad. Sometimes you have to fight for what is right. You have to do it not in an angry way, but in an assertive and determined way. You have to do it from standing up for something or someone. When you do it to protect and to defend what is right, the intention and motivation becomes the guiding force and conscience for that energy. You cannot let the egos of others nor the minds of those who intend to distract you from the truth win. There is a battle going on right now between what is good for the greater whole, the number 10, and what is good for the ego or the individual, the number one. When you are fear-based and allowing the power of others to override who you are and what you are here to do, then even if you align with perceived power, you then become a victim to their misdirection and actions. That is why you must always stand up for truth. Truth is easy to discern. If it protects and defends the weak, then it is honorable. If it tears down and tries to break the heart and spirit of those less fortunate, it is pure evil. Astrology today. Because the moon moves into optimistic Sagittarius, it may temporarily lift some spirits. This gets you off to a quick start on Tuesday because fast thinking Mercury is connecting in a friendly way to electrical Uranus. This kind of stimulation makes me want to make an amazing breakfast or lunch for those that I love. Unfortunately, by mid-afternoon, you will feel like you have had enough of the world when Venus opposes Jupiter. If you can't believe what some individuals have done and, and are doing and recognize that people are destroying history and our heritage and recognize that they are a danger to the world, if you cannot see that, then there's going to be a problem. But if you are angry, you are not alone. The sun in Virgo will square the moon in Sagittarius and there is a very strong initiative to speak up and speak out against recent revelations and damage being done to our world, history, and legacy. Tensions are going to rise and, magna and conflicts will magnify. Mercury and Uranus trine giving a new creative idea to a present impasse. Don't get frustrated. If you, if you uh, communicate um, I'll say it like this, do not get frustrated if your communications seem to not comply with your wishes. Notice if that pandemic is straining our current systems in some ways and the, they, those ways continue to fail unexpectedly. Back up everything you're doing on the computer. Insecurities and fears increase and get worse as the day progresses. Mars at conflicts as it also decides to square with Saturn and Mercury. You want answers. You know that those answers that are given quickly and obviously are not going to work or get you what you want. Recognize when you are being manipulated and used mentally. The Sun sesquiquadrate to Jupiter and Venus and then opposes Jupiter um, again uh, creates a restlessness and that is an understatement to this continued energy. If you want to channel this energy constructively but the stress and strain is making some things move into exaggeration and extreme positioning and enormous danger if it is allowed con to continue. Know your abilities and limitations. You are more reasonable, reliable, and willing to compromise when you do have do not have an inflated perception of your abilities. Notice those who hold tremendous immoderation and constantly exaggerate in order to make themselves feel powerful. Once you see such a pattern, it is easy to see this person's shadow. If you cannot or are unwilling to see someone's shadow, then you have not yet decided to see your own. And that level of denial is insidious. 
If you are more conscious and awake, you cannot allow such people to go unchallenged because lofty expectations only lead to ridiculous highs and lows that breed discontent and fuel rebellion. Your present routine is getting boring. You want a break from all the trouble and such carelessness on a daily level, but breaking from routine right now might not get you where anywhere of value. This world is being torn apart by human weaknesses, and that weakness is personal viewpoint. Such a limited perspective is never complete and can only exist in an environment of delusional ego. My quote for today, this world is being torn apart by human weakness, and that weakness is personal viewpoint. Such a limited perspective is never complete and can only lead to an environment of delusional ego. My blog for today. The smoke was heavy this morning, but then we had a small rainstorm. One small snow came overhead, and the feeling of standing in the short squall was a pleasure beyond compare. And then it was over. There was a very slight clearing of the air, a feeling of a natural sigh of relief, temporary but palatable. I'm going out now to get the small kids swimming pool and fill it with water for the animals. Then I'm going to the store to get some wet cob, which is corn, oats, barley, and molasses for the animals, the grazing animals passing through that are frightened and hungry. Even though I am not in a fire zone at the moment, each of us can practice kindness in all ways at this time in history. If we do not, many will not survive. And the beautiful things in this world will become extinct. While I cannot save the whole world, I can save my small corner of it. And all I can say is, while I live and breathe, I will do everything in my power to help those creatures that live in my forest. They will not die if I can help it. At least on my watch, they will have a fighting chance. At least I will help them have the energy to keep fighting. If everyone operated this way, this world would not be in such a mess. If everyone helped out when called to help, we would cultivate a world with more kindness and compassion. That is the world I came to experience. That is the world I came to co-create. That is the world I believe is possible. And I will not stop fighting for that possibility. Thanks, everyone.